I hope you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, we will first create this model and then we will see the basic SOLIDWORKS CAM introduction and uh, we will also learn how we can create G code with help of the SOLIDWORKS CAM in order to perform our required job or needful job with help of the CNC mill machine. So let's start. First of all, I will select the front plane from here and make it normal. From sketch, I will draw the center rectangle here like this one. From smart dimensions, I will give dimension to this one as 600 mm. Press OK and to this one as 250 mm and press OK from here. And from the features, I will select the extrude boss or base command and make sure that it will be upward direction and here I will use the thickness of 60 mm to our part and press ok from here and just select this one and make it normal and from sketch select the sketch and draw a circle here like this one and from smart dimensions give dimension to this as this one is 40 and from this edge to this point is again 40 and press ok and the circle dia is 50 mm and press ok and from here i will use the center line like this one and here again i will draw the center rectangle like this one and will give dimensions to these as this one is 190 and uh, this one is also 190 this one is 100 press ok and uh, this one is 100 and press ok and now i will just select this point and the origin press control button from keyboard and make relation here horizontal and from smart dimensions i will just give dimension to this point to origin as this one is 120 mm and press ok here i need to remove these sharp edges for this i will select the fillet here and uh, I will select all these one and uh, will give the fillet value here 20 mm so that all these eight edges uh, will be removed and uh, just press ok from here like this one and uh, here I will draw the center straight slot like this one and from small dimension I will give dimension here like this one is 100 press ok and uh, this arc is of 35 radius and uh, from center to this edge this distance is 150 mm press ok and here I will just offset this our straight slot of 20 mm and press ok offset outward press ok and here I will use the mirror entities in order to mirror this circle about this line press ok again I will use the mirror and it is to mirror these two circles around this line and press ok from here now our sketch has been completed from here i will just select the feature and from here i will use the extrude cut 
and from the selected contours I will select these four circles and just press ok from here like this one now I will just drop down it and will select this sketch and from features will select the extrude cut and from here I will just drop down the selected contours and clear the selections here I will select this one and this one from here I will select the through all and press ok from here like this one and again I will just drop down it will select this sketch and I will select the extrude cut command from here and here I need extrude cut of 30 mm to this sketch from first I will clear the selections to this sketch and this sketch and press ok from here like this one now our model has been created now we will see that how we can perform machining on the part to make a model like this and we will also see that how we can generate the G code for our CNC mill machine for this if the SOLIDWORKS cam is not visible to you then just drop down it and from add-ins you can add it and also from the tools you can uh, add it I will just select this one and from here I will use uh, just check this SOLIDWORKS cam and press ok from here and uh, now the SOLIDWORKS cam has been added click on it and just drag it here are the options like cam feature tree and the cam operation tree these are the operations uh, what operations you need to perform and uh, these are the tools you can also add or edit or remove the tools in the SOLIDWORKS cam now the first step in the SOLIDWORKS cam is to define the machine just click on it and here these are the basic settings like the machine here just select the medium duty and mill metric and from the tool cry you can also add tools edit tools or remove the tools from here each station has the 20 number of the tools and uh, the third one is post processor uh, the SOLIDWORKS cam does not know the which machine you want to use then you have to select the machine by default mill tutorial fanuc type has been selected and uh, these are other settings we will see inshallah in our next videos and then just press ok from here then the second step is coordinate system just select on it make sure that your z axis always be in the upward direction and if it is not then you can also change your values from here in order to set your z direction and press ok from here and the third one is stroke manager stroke manager is just the material added to perform our machining like uh, you can add the material here like this one and uh, in the positive y direction like this one and in the positive z direction or you can also add according to your requirement here i will just use 2mm and here no material and here zero and just two material in the z positive direction and press ok from here now the setup here is the mill setup for this we have to select the face or plane from which face you want to machine and I will machine it from this side so that the tool moves from the upside and will perform this job to cut according to our requirement to our model and just press ok from here now 
the next is the extract machinable features that what kind of operations you need to cut like these are the operations and then just uh, select the generate operation plan and it will show that which operations you perform like first you will do roughing and then just finish the part and from here again this one is first rough and then the finish and you can also see the preview just click uh, just move the cursor here you can also see the preview of the operations here like this one and uh, then just make sure that you first select the mill part setup and then select the generate tool path now the tool path has been generated and uh, you can also see the preview here like this one these are all the tool paths and uh, again just select mill part setup and select the simulate tool path and here you can control your speed like decreasing it or increase it when the simulation will run i will show you and here you can see the different settings like which you want like shaded it or shaded with edges all the settings are here you can do it according to your requirements like i'm selecting here translucent display and here this one and uh, just run our simulation from here here this why the x y z these are the traveling path of tool as you can see this here and now just run our simulation like this one you can also increase the speed from here or just decrease it according to your need now it has been completed and just press ok from here now here is the cl file cl file is nothing uh, just a cutter location file which shows that where the cutter moves around and just save it and you can see this file in the saved folder and the most important here is the post process post process is the generation of or generating the g codes and just press ok from here and save it in the format of tab file and save it and from here just play this one and all the g codes all the codes to perform this machining on this model 
will generate from the post process and just press ok from here now i will show you uh, the g code file now you can see that this is our g code file that we will just copy it in our usb or drive and will transfer to this our cnc machine in order to perform our needful job that was all about today's tutorial and if you find useful this video then kindly like share and subscribe our channel so that we can meet with a new project or with a new exercise